How can this church say it has any moral superiority? It has difficulty catching up to what ordinary people regard as common moral and ethical sense. It is the only owner of the truth for the billions that it likes to boast about, because those billions are uneducated and poor, as again it likes to boast about. But they are the ones it can tell and bully and domineer. A world without the Catholic Church would be poorer, would be more hopeless, and would be a worse place in which to live. Sadly, a majority of the audience agreed with my opponents. After the debate, I caught up with them to try and find out exactly what enrages them about the Bible and the Ten Commandments. Christopher Hitchens, how would you sum up the impact of the Ten Commandments? As an appeal to uh, give your allegiance to a totalitarian authority. It's a document of a very aggressive and cruel tribe and religion. And it shows. Honour thy parents, is that? No, but obvious things like this code are common to all human morality, and I would say innate, and that a religion gets its morality from humans and not the other way around. As our interview came to a close, Christopher gave his views on the story of Moses. But you know, the, the, um, it was Marcion, I think, the early church fathers, who said, dump the Old Testament, start afresh. Marcion was the cleverest Christian there ever was. Yeah, You're saddled with this savage Judaism. It's, it's actually evil. I don't mind being saddled with the Ten Commandments. Read the, and I next, don't read find the next evil. chapters. And they're I don't they're find going evil. to be, they are ordered, yeah, they're yeah, ordered in the, the next chapter to, to massacre and slaughter and enslave people. It's, it's wicked. It's really awful. And they give it to children. It's disgraceful. 3,000 years ago, really yeah. Terrible. And we won't let it happen. 3,000 years ago, yeah, quite. All right, bye now. The Ten Commandments have underpinned Western law for centuries, indeed for millennia. What's wrong with that? Well, uh, what's wrong with it is it isn't true, of course. The fact is, anybody, Socrates, for example, Plato, uh, his, his recorder, anybody who is interested in virtue, justice, truth, the right thing to do, is going to examine what is at the heart of good human behaviour. They took a code of morals which simply said, you honour God, you honour your parents, you don't steal, you don't kill, you remain faithful in marriage, you're, you're you mentioning don't lie, the, You're you not don't, mentioring the silly ones, are not, you? No, I'm going right through the ten. Right, okay, let's you're, go for the covetousness then. Um, yeah, yeah, it's number ten. All right. Sorry, you know, that's very rude. That is me. number right. ten. Okay, okay? right. Enough. What exactly is wrong with those code of morals. There's nothing wrong with, with those particular uh, uh, oh. commandments, if you call them, but, but let's look at what they don't do. They don't stop slavery, there's no mention of it, and they kept slaves. So, hello, no, no. what a perfect society they had because of their Ten Commandments. What did God forget? The Ten Commandments are the hysterical believings of a group of desert tribes. Those desert tribes have stored up more misery for mankind than any other group of people in the history of the planet, and they're doing it to this day. I've in. asked you if you think that there was anything wrong with them, and you've well, said no. To say that that should underpin the way we live, to say it's a commandment, that gives all your game away. How dare my you game, command? So you bid us be commanded. I think life is much more exciting than that to do with finding out. It's not Stephen. to do with being told by some Stephen. awful patriarch. Stephen, we're not speaking. We're trying to answer. I am sorry. I yeah, am. I'm happy to. to. Because these damn commandments of yours, you say they've made life better. I say they've suppressed and tyrannized ah. and bullied.